Hollies, of course, are a holiday favorite for many. That's right. And, and Tim Ryan would never go on vacation without leaving with you know you with a little bit of a tidbit of something yummy. He has a great family recipe that comes from Tex-Mex royalty. It is a great holiday tradition in many Mexican-American families to make tamales. And uh, Silvia Casares has been called the queen of Tex-Mex cuisine. Welcome and congratulations on the new cookbook, the Enchilada Queen Cookbook. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I, I tell you what, tamales freak me out because they look so complicated. They're really not. I have my recipe uh, for tamales and, of course, enchiladas mm -hmm. in the book. And I have broken them down into very simple steps. All you have to do is follow the instructions okay. and measure accurately, and you will be a rock star All in the right. kitchen. Let's do it. Sh All right. De demystify tamales. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to talk about two very important uh, recipes in my book. Um, this is what I call my signature Texas two-step, and it's chile guajillo mm -hmm. and uh, cooked and pureed and made into a sauce. And this, this sauce would go in the dough. Okay. So you're delivering a really fresh flavor. And then the other uh, secret uh, authentic recipe that I have is what I call the, and it's a flavor paste made of fresh garlic, okay. black pepper corns, and cumin. Wow. So uh, you can make them in a spice mill. Of course, I use my mom's molcajete, which is, a, I call it the Mexican mortar right. and pestle. And so anyway, both of these components or ingredients add a wonderful flavor to the dough. And so today I brought, um, I brought a, a prepared dough, right. and I'm just going to demonstrate right. you should, how you see make what the it. the consistency mm -hmm. is there. Okay. So I grew up in South Texas, and right on the border in Brownsville. Yep. And so uh, we grew up doing this with my mother and my grandmother, and eventually I went to UT, studied home economics, and ended up working in a food lab. Wow. So I learned a lot about uh, cooking you know, with, uh, with recipe and ingredients and all that. And so a lot of this I have translated into my cookbook. I'm gonna just show you really quick. This is another trick in making, in spreading the dough on the tamal. And that is, uh, I, I like to say in my cooking school, which I teach cooking classes mm -hmm. in Houston, that um, water is your friend. And that is for spreading the dough. Now, tamales are typically, like you said, a holiday food. Right. Couldn't you freeze them? You can freeze them. Great. They reheat really easily by just about any method. Okay, so your little secret there is using the, the spatula yes. and some water. Right. And you want to leave four inches from the pointed end mm. or from the narrow end okay. um, so that you will be able to fold it. Whoop. Um, see, water is your friend. Yep. Uh, as you notice, I'm dipping my spatula in the water and then. Uh, Put about a couple of tablespoons of, today I'm making uh, chicken tamales, the traditional ones are pork. I'm going to fold it over in thirds. The, um, the little tail that has nothing uh, in it will fold over like this and ta-da, And then tamales. it just goes in the oven, right? Uh, no, we steam it. Steam it? Yes. Okay. We're going to put it in a tamale pot with water on the bottom, a, a little rack uh, with uh, little holes, and it steams for about 90 minutes to make sure they're cooked. The only thing you're really cooking is the dough. Of course, the filling's cooked. Right. So, tamales for lunch, tamales for breakfast, and tamales for dinner. And you even have a dessert for one of my favorite secrets, Absolutely. which is dessert tamales, which yes. are unbelievable. They're made with sweet corn, a little bit of coconut, and some raisin. They are over the top and easy to make. Absolutely terrific. Well, congratulations, uh, and thank, thank you, you for sharing thank you for having a us. great family yes. tradition. And we have a link to the book, and we have recipes for everything you've seen here on fox4news.com. The book, once again, uh, The Enchilada Queen Cookbook. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you.